Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to another Pause on Netflix podcast. Today we're covering the Netflix anime movie titled Drifting Home. Yes, originally intended as a summer film, Drifting Home follows a group of school kids who've drifted apart over the years, but now they've been transported in the middle of the ocean. So the kids must work together and put aside their differences to get back home. Yeah. It's the kids, baby. No, you didn't. Before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the kids videos on future podcasts and all the pause videos. For all you Jimmy Neutron fans. Hey, it's, <laughs> hey, it's funny you say that because I think some regular voice actors are actually in this. They weren't necessarily anime, but if you watch like Casa Grandes or Bell Prince, you might actually hear them in this movie. We took a little while to watch this movie, actually. Our intention was to watch it the day that it premiered but we didn't get to do that right. but finally we did get to watch it it was a really interesting movie it was pretty simple and if not for the events that happened in the water it was more like a slice of life movie right until they get transported then right. it's no longer a slice of life right <laughs> And it still is really intended to be a summer film because when it takes place, it looks like it's either like at the end of summer or summer's going to start soon because of the, the time it takes place and all the kids are really hanging out together a lot. And apparently this movie got pushed back and there's no explanation why. Like it was supposed to come out in like June or July and then it didn't have a date anymore and it just kept saying it was coming soon. And then it came out in December. So it ended up really not working out from they advertised it, but it came out way too late right. because people were already looking for all the Christmas movies. Mm -hmm. So it kind of got lost and it didn't get any, really any attention because people had forgotten about it. They were into the holiday stuff by the time this was out. And this definitely is not a holiday movie nor feels like it. However, it is a very good watch. So now that the holiday is over, you can actually watch this if you haven't on Netflix. Right. It, is a, it is a Netflix exclusive. And it will definitely be entertaining for you. And now you let go of the holiday movies, you can invest in this. Right. So for this one, it actually reminds me a little bit of uh, Penguin Highway and a few other films. And, and it has Bryce Pepper. Oh, yes, that's right. Sure does. Um, it reminds me of uh, Penguin Highway and some other anime films. And it looks like ones that aren't connected to an existing franchise like MAJ or Jujutsu Kaisen, they tend to do one-shot films that are existential, they have some type of fantasy element to it, uh, the person goes through a life-changing experience, grows by the end. There seems to be a lot of those types of movies out there that are standalone films and regardless involves male or female or a teenager, they all seem to have that same type of feel to it. And there's always something supernatural or fantastical going on in the background amidst the slice of life um, area. And it usually pops up when you don't expect it. You think it's just going to be something normal, day-to-day -day happening, and all of a sudden, it, bam, there it is. And you're right. like, where'd that come from? Right. At least what you know, like, let's say... Uh, let's say the Mugen train, you know you're going to get action and stuff oh, that's when a you slice watch of life it. In that. I know. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, with these other franchises that have the movies, the spin-off movies, you know what you're going to get. With these standalone movies for anime, they're not connected to anything. They're just their own thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're original stories. Sometimes they're based off one book. Mm -hmm. You never know what to expect because there's you have slice of life and you'll know what the fancy thing is going to be right. or when it's going to come out. Or sometimes it stays slice of life like right. um, bubbles up like soda pop. Yeah, it's, it's you just You kept normal. expecting it and waiting for the the magic or as you said, the supernatural. Right. You kept waiting for it, but it didn't happen. Right. <laughs> but this, again, is a movie you should definitely watch. It starts off, unfortunately, with um, an element of a passing. Yeah. And then these children are still trying to get over the passing of the adult. Mm -hmm. And they aren't getting along because they have different views on how they should be behaving since this happened. Right. And then they used to get along like brothers and sister. Mm -hmm. Now they don't get along at all. Mm -hmm. And then it takes this transporting into another dimension mm -hmm. for them to... <laughs> realize how they're treating each other is wrong right i'm, I'm making every, sure i don't spoil it right <laughs> and so like everything that happens is like metaphorical 
because um, you're not sure. Like you say, it's kind of another dimension because at first you're kind of thinking that a hurricane came in out of nowhere and maybe it flooded the island or it was so strong the building got separated. So they're constantly going for days and days on end, possibly weeks, trying to get back to land. And it doesn't seem like the, the, the sea never ends. You're thinking, oh, they got to be getting close by now because they see other buildings and it doesn't. You find out what it all means later, but it sort of becomes like the literal, the little title drifting home, like you're drifting apart. It's almost like a Steven Universe level of metaphors in here. Like as you see it go on, they finally learn to work together, and then you see how it all progresses the more they actually start to uh, come together. And uh, and we should say come together again because they got along before, mm-hmm. but this event broke them apart. Right. And within this alternate reality of the universe yeah. they get to see people at some point from the past and the present and it really gets confusing because yeah, at first you're bit. thinking maybe all the people have passed but then you realize they all haven't Right. but each one delivers I guess a message that they need to have and then it reminds me of Avatar mm-hmm. when they were in the swamp yeah it's, it's sort of like and that first it's- saw Oh yeah, the swamp guy. Yeah. Started having the yeah, the, the swamp. You're right. right. <laughs> he started having the visions, and he first saw Toph. Yes. And was, you know, and then he recognized him when he saw him. Right. I'm so not sort of meandering, and I'm not just talking. I'm, definitely reminds me of that one I saw. Mm-hmm. It's like a C version of that because the element does come up in it. You're absolutely right. It's sort of like done in reverse. I guess you could say it's done in reverse because you see this other kid come in that's been in the building but you don't know how long he's been there because the way they talk about it is like he's been there for years but he still looks like a kid and it's like it's really confusing when you hear it like you said you'll figure you'll figure it out as it as it goes on and then you have a girl and a girl who turns up as well Mm -hmm. who's just like the boy yes and you know it after seeing him for a while in the movie when she appears you know okay she's like him you're right. not confused. You're like, okay, we know she's like him. She's in this universe, but she's not in their universe. Right. And, and, and it's a little a little hard to tell a lot of things going on in here aside from the journey because it's almost like um, Promised Neverland. If you say a little too much about it, recommending it, you kind of give away the twist and the plot or the spoilers. There'll be spoilers within the plot of the movie. So aside from you knowing what it's about and how they're gonna and you kind of figure out how they're gonna get home what's the key, right <laughs> and the key to them getting home is to working together and to reconcile mm-hmm. aside from that there's not much else that you can really go into detail without spoiling the end or the reveal or any or anything so this is one of those movies that you have to see so you can experience everything unfolding. We can tell you the animation is spectacular. Yes, very. Especially when they're in the water. Everything looks real. They did such a great job that the water looks real and the landmarks that are in the water look real. Right. It's like, wow, this is really done well. Right. The water moves like water. It doesn't yes. look animated. It since looks like real water. Since they're in the ocean, yeah, they really took the time. This is something so simple you think it's like, it should be easy or to just make it look like you know, some animated water, but they actually took the time to make it look like you're probably in the water yourself. This was a 3D film. And some of the buildings actually look like they were real. They didn't look animated. Right. So they did a really great job on it. The characters the themselves, no, they don't look real. But no, some then of the buildings too much. Or the things, yes, they do. And yes, and that's a building. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you haven't seen this movie, Drifting Home, you really need to get to Netflix and give it a watch. Come back and let us know what you think in the comments below. If you've already seen it, let us know. Did you love it? Hate it? Like it? Could have done without it? Interested in knowing your thoughts? Put them below. Right. And if you haven't already, subscribe for updates and weekly videos on your favorite anime series, anime shows, and all things animation. Absolutely. And thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your support. If you have a channel you want us to look at, put the name in the comments below or leave a link. We'll check it out and subscribe and support. Yep. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Rouse Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a tune. Fantastic day. Peace.